science class. Today we are going to talk about homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Let us begin our lesson by doing this very simple activity. This is for you to review some of the words that you have encountered when you were still in grade 5. All you need to do is to guess what this word is. So you're going to arrange the jumbled letters. Let's begin. Arrange the jumbled letters. This is anything around us that occupies space and has mass. What do you think is the answer? One, two, three. The correct answer is matter. Let us now have this one. This is actually the smallest particle of a substance. What do you think is it? One, two, three. The correct answer is molecule. How about this one? This is the basic unit of matter. What do you think is the correct answer? One, two, three. The correct answer is atom. Now let us have this one. This is made up of one kind of atom. What do you think is it? One, two, three. The correct answer is element. Now let us have the last one. This is actually consists of two or more substances that are physically combined. What do you think is the right word? One, two, three. The correct answer is mixture. You do get it all correct? Congratulations! Now you are ready for our lesson. Homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. What do you do when the weather is very hot? Yung kapag pinapawisan ka dahil sa sobrang init ng araw, ano ang kadalasan ninyong ginagawa? When the weather is very hot, I usually stay at home at nagtitimpla ako ng mga maiimo na malamig. Halimbawa na lang ay juice. Tapos nilalagyan ko ng ice para malamig na malamig at makapawi ang aking uhaw. When the weather is cold at nalalamigan ako, kadalasan ako ay nagkakape. And let us try to have a scientific mind when we are going to mix our coffee. I'll ask you, sabayan niyo ko gawin ng isang eksperimento sa isang napakasimpleng pagkakape. All you need to do is to have a stick of coffee, a tablespoon of sugar or brown sugar, creamer or milk, and a cup or mug of hot water. We also need spoon. And syempre, yung mug na gagamitin natin para paglagyan ng tubig na mainit. So, we need a mug of hot water, one Nescafe stick. I usually don't use creamer for my coffee, so I have milk instead. Again, this is a mug of hot water. Please be careful if you are doing it with me. I now have everything that I need except for sugar. Oh, I forgot. I usually use brown sugar for my coffee. For this activity, let us begin by adding sugar first. Let us then stir it really, really well and observe what happened to our brown sugar. Do you see the sugar particle in the water? Has the sugar disappeared? Now let us add some coffee. Let us again stir it very well. What 
what happened to the coffee powder? Now let us add some milk. What happened now to the color of our mixture? Do you still see the sugar particle? Do you still see the black coffee powder? Can you tell me what happened to that milk that we have just added? Now let us enjoy this coffee mug together. I am really enjoying this coffee and I hope you are enjoying yours too. Now let us try to answer some of the questions that we have. What happened to sugar, coffee, and milk when stirred together in a cup of hot water? As we mixed sugar, coffee powder, and milk powder into a mug of hot water, all of those sugar, coffee, and milk were dissolved into water. At nagiging iisang phase na lang sila, at nagiging iisa sila sa tubig sa loob ng mug. Ang asukal, kape at gatas ay natunaw sa tubig at nahalo ang mga ito sa tubig. Can you still see the sugar particles after stirring? When we first add sugar to that hot water, hindi na natin makikita yung sugar particles. Hindi mo na maa-identify ang sugar particle na nakahalo sa tubig. How do you know that sugar is still in the cup without seeing it? The sugar is still in that water. And how would I know that sugar is still in that water? That is because even if I could not see that sugar is still there, it has dissolved in the water and you can taste it. Matamis ang tubig dahil nalagyan siya ng asukal. I have a little trivia for you guys. Don't you know that sugar is an example of mass nouns? If you are going to say mass nouns, these are nouns that you cannot count. You just cannot count the sugar particles one by one. That will take you ages. Now, if you're going to say mass noun, it means that you are going to take it as a singular subject. So, instead of saying sugar are sweet, that is actually wrong, you are going to say sugar is sweet. That is correct. And another way of saying, do not add many sugar in my coffee since you cannot count sugar. So you're not going to use many sugar, but instead, you are going to say, do not add a lot of sugar in my coffee. That is correct. Itong kapeng ito ay isa lamang halimbawa ng mixture. And in this case, ito ay tinatawag nating homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has a uniform composition throughout. It could be in liquid or solid form. Only one phrase is seen or visible after mixing the different components. Now, I am going to ask you to watch this video clip na ginawa namin noon ni Sir Joel noong gumawa siya ng pickled ampalaya. Titingnan natin ngayon kung ano ang mangyayari sa mga ingredients na pinaghalo-halo niya para maging pickled ampalaya. Hello guys! Welcome to Tilly Class. Ako si Sir Joel Bacalare. Tapos natin kung paano gumawa ng pickled ampalaya. pickled ampalaya or acharang ampalaya. Ang sarap. Promise. What are the ingredients of pickled ampalaya? Siyempre kapag nagluluto tayo, marami tayong ingredients na nagagamit. Tulad na lang sa paggawa ng pickled ampalaya. 
So, ginamit ni Sir Joel ang ampalaya, carrot, ginger, my salt, at marami pang iba. Do you still see the ampalaya after all the ingredients were mixed? After Sir Joel mixed all the ingredients at naluto na niya, makikita pa rin natin ang ampalaya. Nandun pa rin yung carrot. Hindi sila natunaw. This is yet another example of a mixture. But this time, dahil kahit pinaghalo-halo natin sila at nandito pa rin nakikita pa rin natin ang bawat isa katulad ng ampalaya, carrots at ginger, ito ang nangangulugang ang pickled ampalaya ay isa lang mga halimbawa ng heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixture is a mixture that does not have uniform composition. The composition of this mixture does not blend throughout. The individual substances or the components are recognizable or remain distinct. The phases or substances are all visible. So in this lesson, we are going to identify the homogeneous and the heterogeneous mixture. I have here a practice exercise for you. Tell whether the mixture in the picture is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Let's begin with the first picture. You have here a sandwich. Do you like sandwiches? I like it. So, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Correct. This is heterogeneous. Let us have the second picture. Oh, I love this together with the sandwich. Yeah. So, this is an orange juice in a glass. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? The answer is homogeneous. Let us have the third picture. I love this one too. This is fruit salad. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? What do you think? Correct. This is heterogeneous. Let us have the next picture. This is an alcohol. Are you using alcohol to disinfect? Yes, we are using it every day. So, is alcohol homogeneous or heterogeneous? Correct. This is homogeneous. Let us have the last picture. You must find it in your kitchen, don't you? Yes, this is soy sauce and oil. So, what do you think? Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? Correct. This is heterogeneous. If you look around you, especially sa bahay, kapag ka nagpunta kayo sa kusina, ha, ang dami-dami mixtures na iyong makikita. And these mixtures could either be homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Let me remind you once again that homogeneous mixture is a mixture that has a uniform composition throughout, just like the orange juice in the glass and also the alcohol that you are using to disinfect. Now let us have the heterogeneous mixture. This is a mixture that does not have uniform composition, just like what you see with the fruit salad, the sandwich, and the soy sauce and oil in a bottle. I hope this short lesson of ours will help you in answering the activities that your teacher will give you about homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. And of course, I have some trivia for you. Do you know that homogeneous mixture could also be in solid form? And this is in the form of alloy and steel. Alloy An alloy is an admixture of metals or a metal combined with one or more other elements. For example, combining the metallic elements gold and copper produces red gold. Gold and silver becomes white gold and silver combined with copper produces sterling silver. Steel Steel is an alloy made up of iron with typically a few tenths of a percent of carbon to improve its strength and fracture resistance compared to iron. Many other elements may be present or added. Stainless steels that are corrosion and oxidation resistant needed typically an additional 11% chromium. Because of its high tensile strength and low cost, steel is used in buildings, infrastructures, tools, ships, trains, cars, 
machines, electrical appliances, and weapons. I hope you have enjoyed our science class today. This is Teacher Jackie saying bye-bye.